We have another example. First, we have to organize the equation. I'm going to move point 28 to the left side. Because this is the decimal number and I have point 48 minus point 28 equals 2 copy down 10 to c power point 48 minus point 28 is point 2 equals 2 times 10 to c Next, I have to divide both sides' equation by whatever is multiplied to the parentheses. Divide both sides' equation by 2. 2 and 2 will cancel out. Point 2 divided by 2 is point 1. Equals 10 to C. 1 tenths. 1 tenths is equal 10 to C. I can convert the fraction to the power and I'm going to have 10 to negative 1 equals 10 to C. Anytime you have the same base, you're supposed to ignore the base and copy down the exponents and you will have c equals negative 1. This is the answer to this problem. If you want to verify your answer, just replace this c by negative 1. As you can see, we solved this problem without using the logarithm. Let's take a look at this problem. First, we're supposed to organize this equation. I'm going to bring every term which contains alpha to the left side. So I have three open parentheses, 10 alpha minus, because I'm moving this term to the left side, two open parentheses, 10 alpha equals, and I have to move negative 5 to the right side because negative 5 has no alpha next to itself, equals 5. Now we're supposed to combine the like terms, and I have 10 alpha and 10 alpha, so simply subtract 3 minus 2 is equal 1, so 1 times 10 alpha is just 10 alpha equals 5. The base is 10. So I'm going to use the common logarithm and I'm going to rewrite this as log of 10 to alpha is equal log of 5. Next I'm supposed to use the property for the power of the logarithm and move this alpha to the front of the logarithm and simply write alpha log 10 equals log 5. Log of 10 is equal 1. 1 times alpha is simply alpha. Alpha is equal log of 5. So, if you are going to use the calculator, you will have alpha equals 0.69 AD9. And this is the solution to this problem.